everybody and welcome back to another Meaning to Live short therapy video. My name is Jed Thorpe, licensed therapist. Today we're going to go over a relatively new psychotherapy model called EMDR. If you like the video, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel or the Instagram or the Facebook or the TikTok or wherever you're listening to this. And lastly, check out the website at www.meaningtolive.com. All right, and welcome back. I'm pretty excited to talk about EMDR today. It's really cool. So first of all, you probably want to know what EMDR stands for. The acronym goes like this, eye movement, desensitization, and reprocessing. The founder of EMDR is Francine Shapiro, and it was established back in 1988. And even though it hasn't been a long, long time, there's a ton of research that support the effectiveness of EMDR and the safety of EMDR. So this whole technique is based off the understanding that negative emotions that we have daily are very likely a result of unprocessed and traumatic memories that we've had in the past. So give the memories a voice, do some flashy inner child work and some memory replacement, and boom, life is good. Issues resolved. Here's the thing to know about EMDR and therapists. Every therapist will do it differently. There's slight variations. Some therapists think that EMDR is only used with huge trauma events. Others, like myself, are more inclined to be like, hey, let's, let's do EMDR for wherever we can. So any negative emotion can be processed with EMDR because you can attach a negative belief system to it. And a lot of times those negative belief systems will direct right to a memory. Oh yeah. So with EMDR, you'll actually start remembering things that you haven't remembered before, you know, and it all is due to this brain stimulation, this going back and forth. And it sounds a bit menacing and a little hoodoo, voodoo, you do, but basically it's this in a nutshell. You have two hemispheres, left and right. Bilateral stimulation helps your brain to connect with itself because you have to remember the brain's main job is to keep you safe so any negative emotions any trauma that's been back there it will actually go and rewire itself to avoid the hot spots and before you know you before you know it you've rewired in an unhealthy way and all that unhealthiness exhibits in anxiety depression excessive worry stress fear resentment that kind of thing so an example of EMDR uh, what I do is I'll take a pen and you know, just wave it back and forth in front of their eyes. I'll sit pretty closely to them. So it's a pretty intimate procedure. You can also use light displays. Kids are really good with little handheld vibrations. Fun fact, you might not know this, but you've probably done EMDR on yourself already. I've heard the stories where people are like, yeah, I had something troubling me. I went for a walk or a run, and by the time I was done with the run, I felt pretty good about it. That is EMDR. You're doing bilateral footwork. So, and if if what Francine Shapiro was a runner, this probably would have been FMDR, foot bilateral reprocessing memory stuff. So, rather than that, we have the eye eye stuff going on. So, eye movement desensitization. That's where the memory or where the belief began is is desensitized. It's a little like resolved. And that only leaves the R at the very end, reprocessing. And this happens in a number of ways. You have to remember, brain wants to heal, looks for opportunities to heal, so it will quite naturally start working through issues through the EMDR process. It's powerful, this EMDR. Thank you, Francine. So, so powerful, in fact, that it's important that you don't just have someone willy-nilly try this. You need to be trained to do this. They have certain certifications. I have my certification hanging up in my office right here. And it's, it's, it's pretty hard to get. It took a lot of time. And it's good to know that, you know, your professional that you're utilizing for your brain has been trained. Here's some fun facts. EMDR, there's two types. There's the EMD big R and the EMD little r. Your therapist and all this, I'll just tell you what it is anyway. The big R is that's the free association where you do EMDR and let the brain work on whatever it wants to work on. The little r is when you have something very specific you want to work through and you boundary it up. I typically start with little r's first just to help the client get used to what's going on. So that is EMDR in a nutshell. 
a little over five minutes, but it was worth it. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. And if you haven't already, check out the website, www.meaningtolive.com for more therapy goodness. And until next time, awareness up.